I think John B. Fairfax might have made a third mistake. <laughs> and that was selling his shares in rural press for Fairfax shares, not cash, and then agreeing to have a colourful Melbourne property developer as chairman of the whole show. <laughs> now, I was going to make a quick point. Uh, I've probably bagged more journalists and media bosses than anyone, and I've assembled a massive enemy list uh, over the years, and I can tell you, I've definitely reached the conclusion that journalists are great haters. They remember and they impose bans and it is incredible how long they last. Ten years after I criticised the Fin Review's publisher Michael Gill, 3RW Morning presenter Neil Mitchell and Herald Sun editor Peter Blunden for being in various ways too soft on Jeff Kennett and his government, I'm still pretty much banned by all of them. Now I want to love the Fairfax Press. But I've spent 10 years as Australia's best-known shareholder activist and literally have never really got a run in the Fin Review because it is prosecuting a petty ban based on something that I said 10 years ago. And this goes on all the time. I have molested thousands of ABC microphones over the years in every Australian capital city except Adelaide where I haven't done one interview because in 2000 I criticised their morning presenter in a way and he didn't like it. 10-year ban. So as long as the media does these churlish, childish bans where they're thin-skinned, then they won't tell you the truth. They won't put, put the facts out there. I look forward to the day when the Fairfax Press, particularly the AFR, will take up the story that Australians are the biggest gamblers in the world and that Woolworths is the biggest pokies company in the country. But they won't, because, and the News Limit as well, because Woolies is the biggest advertiser for both companies. They're just too valuable a client to take on. So I'll run for their board again and I'll rave at the AGM and it'll all be studiously ignored because of the various interests that sit behind. Thank you.